Now, David Kennedy, a cybersecurity consultant and formerly with the NSA. David, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. So, first and foremost, to all of the people who are sitting in front of their computers right now at home, sipping their coffee, should they be worried and how much does this affect them? Well, actually, as of late last night, a uh, security researcher named Mauer Tech Blog uh, on Twitter, he, he was taking a look at the, the software itself and found that it was trying to communicate out to a website. And he found that the website wasn't actually registered, so he registered it and uh, accidentally found a kill switch um, inside of the software itself, which actually renders the software as of today uh, now useless. So, so the, the software has actually stopped uh, spreading across the world. Um, he actually probably saved lives on accident uh, just by registering this one uh, website uh, name in his name. And uh, it, it's really interesting to see how this, going, uh, this is going. But the problem with this specific one with WannaCry is that the way that they used um, to create this worm um, is very easy to you know, create any type of ransomware, to put any type of ransomware payload um, into this, this device and, and have it sent out. So we're already seeing chatter on, on the dark web and on ransomware authors um, incorporating this technique into there. So we're not out of the water yet. Mm. Uh, by any stretch of means, um, and we're going to see a lot more of these start to happen next week. So, David, let me ask you this, I, I, and I'm a novice in this arena, so that's why we have you so on. Three yep. to six hundred dollars <laughs> holding these files uh, ransom. One would imagine, mm -hmm. not knowing the the arena, that if I'm paying you three to six hundred dollars, that money has to go somewhere, and that yep. account could be traceable, and that could lead you to the person who is responsible. No. Well, the the, the problem is, is that. You know, we've moved to an online currency called bitcoins all the hackers have um you know th this online currency is what uh, people use to, to maintain an anonymity uh to not be tracked very uh, heavily and the whole online currency is designed to be anonymous um so when you are you're actually paying you're not paying directly into somebody's bank or we're doing a wire transfer somewhere you're paying into this online currency uh, area and that is extremely difficult for law enforcement to actively go back and track uh, they used to be able to track through money laundering, as you as you mentioned, to go and find these individuals. Uh, but unfortunately, it's very difficult to track these um, folks through Bitcoin. And that's where this whole ransomware market has really spawned off and boomed, uh, because it really is difficult to go and find them and find out where they're coming from. OK, so we just uh, heard from Diana uh, Magne about Europol tweeting out that this requires an international investigation. Do you anticipate there will be one? And will it be able to find a way to stop things like this from happening? Well, the, the, the problem is, is the chances of getting hit or getting um, identified as a hacker is substantially low right now. Something as high as this one, um, you know, with, with as much damage as it has done, um, there will probably be a substantial investigation going on to try to find these hackers. And they have before in the past gone and found these. You know, what I would, what I would say, though, is that, you know, the way that this was delivered and all the code is now out there, on how to replicate the same thing. There's going to be a lot of copycats and a lot of folks um, in, the, in the hacking community, in the, in the, in the black hat community, uh, trying to replicate this and get it out there very quickly to make money. Um, so it's not the last that we're going to see out of it. Maybe the original author of this uh, may get discovered, um, but it's going to take a substantial amount of effort and time and a lot of collaboration between you know, different countries to find out where they're located at, uh, work with extrad extradition laws, um, go after them and prove damages. Um, so it'll be a very long uh, process in the event that they're even able to find them. Mm.